Continuing in our tutorial series on Slitaz, we are going to look at the file manager now. Uh, the file manager is called PC Man, PC Man File Manager, and it's very lightweight. Watch, I'm going to click, and you see how fast it opens up, and this is on a very slow virtual machine. Well, not extremely so, but it's not anywhere near the cheapest computer you can buy nowadays, pretty much. Um, and if you are used to using something like Nautilus, which is the default file manager in uh, Ubuntu or Linux Mint, uh, basically it's the default uh, file manager for the GNOME desktop, um, you're going to feel very at home in this. And it's, it's just, it's very lightweight, very fast, but has a lot of the same features. You can see um, that you got your Windows over, or your files over here, and a list of uh, directories and shortcuts over here. You got your home folder. A shortcut to desktop, CD-ROM, or any hard drives that are available. Uh, and then you have uh, shortcuts here, just as you would in Nautilus. And what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to make a shortcut to my music directory. Just take it, drag it, drop it, and now you have uh, a shortcut to your music folder from anywhere you're at. So I can be in documents here. I go, oh, I want to go music. Boom, we're in music now. Not that there's anything in any of these folders, because I'm running a live uh, CD right now. Um, it tells you down here there are five visible uh, items and 15 hidden. Uh, just like in Nautilus, you can either hit Control H and it will show you your hidden files. Once again, Control H to hide it. Or if you forget how to do that, you can go up to View and you can show hidden files or hide hidden files. And just like most programs, it shows you any shortcut keys. So Control H, as I told you there a moment ago. Uh, currently, it's Pac-Man File Manager version 0.5.2. As I said, it's, it's very lightweight. It is a great little application. If we go up to Tools, we have Open Terminal. It'll open up the terminal for you. And let's see, I'll go into Music and I'll say Open Terminal. And it opens up the terminal in that folder. So whatever folder you're in, it opens it up. Another way to do that, you can right click here and go Open Terminal. Or, as you can see, F4 is an option. So whenever you're in a folder, if you hit F4, it opens up the terminal in that folder. That is a great little shortcut. You can go in through all these files and you're like, oh, I want to type a command in this folder. You just hit F4, you're in that folder, you run your command. It is great. Uh, another thing is open current folder as root. So you're, let's say I am uh, will go to my root directory here. I'll go into var and I'll just uh, choose games. I'm like, oh, I want to edit this folder, but I can't because I am, uh, see I can't create a new anything because you have to be root to edit this folder. All I have to do is come up here, open current folder as root, type in my root password, default is root. Click OK and you can see warning you are running as root, gives you that little warning up there so that you know so you don't accidentally delete anything. You also notice your shortcuts and stuff disappear over here because since you're running as root, root has different settings. So you can create separate shortcuts for root but you really shouldn't be running as root too often, so that's really unnecessary. But if I right click, I can go down to create and I create a new folder or file now within this folder that is protected. Um, views panel, we got our panel off to the side here. We can hide it. We can bring it back up and show it if you want. And once again, if you look right here, it says that it's F9. So you can hit F9, hides it, brings it back. Another thing you can look at here under that full uh, drop down menu is. Uh, show location pane, and I would say panel, pane, it's a pane. Uh, show uh, uh, directory tree, so that's directory tree. This is panel or pane. You also have icons down here that do the same thing. I can click right here, get the tree, click right here, get location. And once again, there are shortcut keys, control B and D. So if I hit control B, I already got that up, control D. Control B, Control D, Control B, back and forth, depending on what you prefer. I like nice little shortcut view here. Um, and of course, you can sort stuff by name, size, modification date, type, permissions, owner. You can do ascending or descending, icon view, compact view, detailed list view. Uh, I mean, it's all stuff that you're probably used to seeing. Bookmarks, that's pretty much what I was showing you earlier. You can add a bookmark or you can just drag it there, same thing. Uh, going back and forth, parent directory, home directory, you have all that stuff right here, a nice little toolbar as well. Go to your home directory. 
Uh, edit, copy, paste, all the stuff's the same. F2 is almost always uh, rename. Control A is always select. Control I is invert selection. Preferences, we're gonna go into preferences. You can choose your icon size. So let's boost that up. We'll click OK. And it kind of moved them, made them bigger, but they didn't make the icons bigger. And that's probably because of our theme. Our theme may not have larger icons, which would be why it resized the space around them, but not the actual icons themselves. So, yeah. Um, you can choose to open with a single click instead of double click. So I can click OK, OK here, click, and you see I single click. Also, while you're set to single click, as I hover, I'm not clicking now, as I hover, it selects the fo folder, which is nice if you just want to select something to delete it. Uh, going back into preferences here, uh, bookmarks, open in current tab. You can also open in a new tab or a new window. So if I hit new tab, I'll click OK. Now if I click on music, uh, it didn't open in a new tab. I thought that it would. See, that's why I should try stuff before I try showing them in videos. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'll play around with that, try to figure out what that is later on. Interface, it gives you some options here. You can turn off desktop. You can change your background on your desktop because the file manager is in charge. Oh, look, we did change some icons back there because those, uh, obviously, the theme for those have uh, larger icons. But we can change our background image here. There's only one. I don't have any images installed or downloaded right now. You can choose where it stretches and fits the whole screen, which is probably what you use most of the time. Uh, stretch to fit the screen, center on the screen, tile it, you know, same options you already have. Now if the there is no background image, you can choose background text and, and shadowing colors. And advanced, now you're going to be immersed with that. Terminal is your, your default terminal, which uh, is X term. But if you install something else like uh, GNOME terminal, if you install GNOME terminal, you can uh, use that as your default terminal there. That is about it. File is just create files and stuff you're used to. Thanks for watching this tutorial. That's PC Man on Slitza. I have a lot more tutorials, Slitaz, uh, coming up. Keep watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.